Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be introducing the brand new project that I'm gonna be doing. You guys ready for this? So this is the new project. So this is what I'm gonna call Project Afterburner. Sorry about the mess that I have in here. Uh, I got the YZ kind of torn apart. Uh, still waiting on the rear wheel to come back because we're doing a MX, uh, was it, MX-14 retire, but we're not gonna talk about that today. We'll talk about that in another video. Yeah, this is the new project build. So finally got ourselves a 1000. It's been a while, but it's also been, you know, something that was definitely coming at some point in time. It's just a matter of when. And I mean, I've already noticed some interesting things about it. Like, you know, you got the clickers on the shocks, stuff like that. Um, the new headlights, which are pretty cool. Uh, it comes with a 3,500 pound winch. A50 came with a 3,000 pound winch. Uh, I don't know if these cryptids are true 30s or not. They don't really look like it, but uh, they might look a little, a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter. I'm going to swap them out anyways. Um, that's pretty much all I know about it. It's pretty much identical to my other Renegade otherwise. Uh, one thing that I do think is interesting, and I was actually talking to JMI93 about this a little bit ago, is the work mode option. So, obviously you have your three different switches, uh, or three different modes. So you have your sport mode, uh, you have normal mode, which is sport mode off, and you have work mode, which I don't know what work mode is. Uh, I didn't really write it at all. You can see it's got zero hours and it's got like, I don't know, like 0.4 miles, which is basically just me uh, getting it from inside the dealer showroom to the trailer. Uh, you got your IE, um, IEB, your intelligent engine braking. So you have three different modes for your intelligent engine braking. You have medium, max, or sorry, you have a, uh, I think it's low, medium, max. Yeah, uh, minimum, maximum, medium. We're gonna be playing around with that. Uh, I test drove a bike that had one before uh, last year. And it didn't feel like it did anything, but I'm not really sure. So. So what are we gonna do for the build? Well, the build is actually going to be not as big from the start. So I do plan on going with 32 inch tires. Uh, I'm gonna probably run my 32 Aztecs is what I'm probably gonna do, at least for now. Uh, we're pulling the rat out, we're gonna put the rat up top as per normal. I still gotta pull the horn off, stuff like that, and do my, uh, my buyer's pre-trip, stuff like that. For clutching, I'm probably gonna go ahead and run a CV Tech primary and just to spring the secondary as a temporary for now until I decide on what I actually wanna do. Exhaust, I am looking at an SLG Sniper uh, Quiet Core, uh, mostly because I don't like loud exhaust. I'm not a fan of that. This thing right here is just an absolute just ear destroyer and I can't stand this thing at all. Um, and the 850 was not too far off from that with the uh, RGWC duels. Um, underneath the seat, for the cover, uh, we're going with the Quad Logics cover lid. We'll see if they hold up to their name. So that's one thing that I'm going to be uh, getting as well. I right, already right, got a, a shifter knob coming as well. So we got another shifter knob. And tune, uh, I'm going to be making my own tune for this one, which I haven't done in a long time, because uh, we created one for the 850. And it, it worked really, really well. It worked really good. Uh, but it only worked for uh, the single exhaust. It didn't work for like the duals, so I had to do something different. For tail lights, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. This is the one thing that's gonna have to wait a little bit uh, because I'm not gonna be able to get this bike done before a mud bash because I'm on a very limited budget to do this. Uh, so I wanna make sure I keep my finances in order. Same thing with the front headlights. I'm probably gonna be doing some halos in the front. I have a lot of ideas for this bike. I really do. And I'm really excited to finally do a build on a, you know, 23-24 Renegade 1000. Uh, this is the first 1000 I've ever owned. I've ridden multiple 1000s. And I'm definitely curious to see, you know, if they're worth the hype. That's kind of my big question mark. Are they going to be worth it? Because I traded the Rubicon, we traded the ZX4, and the TTR 230 to get this. So this thing better live up to its name because replacing the Rubicon, that's, that's a pretty big deal, at least to me, because I, I miss the Rubicon a lot. Other than that, uh, like I said, that's pretty much the overall walk around uh, specs. I know it makes 91 horsepower, uh, runs on 91 octane, which I figured out recently. 
I didn't actually know that it ran on 91. Uh, so that's gonna be very interesting uh, because my mobile station over here doesn't run, uh, <laughs> it doesn't run 91. I run just regular 87 octane in it because that's what the 850 runs. That's what the Rubicon ran. And that's what the, the 230 ran. They basically all ran, uh, what was it, uh, 90 or no, 87 octane. So I'm gonna have to basically use the same premium that the dirt bikes use. So we got run premium gas in it. Um, I think the shocks so far seem like they're pretty decent, but again, I've only ridden it like from the trailer, you know, onto the trailer, off the trailer, that's all I've done. Haven't really done anything extreme with it, but I'm curious to see how these shocks will hold up because I do have an extra set of Elkas for the front. Uh, beadlock wheels, I'm gonna try to maybe swap these tires over uh, to the Aztecs or the wheels over to the Aztecs because right now they're just sitting on the regular Canyon Mate 50 wheels. Uh, and I also have to do a rope instead of a cable for the winch, which is, again, that's probably gonna wait until maybe after Mud Bash when I do that. Because I kind of made the ultimate decision that yeah, I'm still gonna go despite all the stupid crap that's kind of happened between yesterday and today of me getting this, which is insane how things can change. It is what it is. Internet drama is always gonna be one thing that you can't avoid no matter what you do. Yeah, overall, that's pretty much all I can say. Now you might notice that the KTM is not present and neither is the 850. Uh, don't fear, they are still around. The KTM is currently in the shop for a throttle issue and the 850 is in storage. I still own those vehicles. Uh, you're still gonna see them on the channel. Uh, there's no fear of that anyways. Yeah, a lot of people a lot of people say that, you know, the 1000s are these big vehicles, you know, they, they're, they're the ones that are top of the line. That's what you have to own. Well, that's what we're gonna find out with this. We're gonna find out if this is really the top of the game, if this is really what you should buy um that's gonna be the big thing because this is i think mine was close to 17 roughly uh 17 almost 18 out the door when i was done uh which again huge shout out to clinton county motorsports uh, thank you guys so much for you know working out a really good deal with me really appreciate it but that's gonna be like the big thing is do you really need a 1000 compared to the 850 the 570 all of that do you really need them because I have ridden them all. I have owned them all. I have not owned the 500 and the 700. I haven't owned those, but I did own the 450 back in 2016. I did have the 570 in 2019. We had the 650 in 2020, very late 2022, early 2023. And then we had, um, no, it was actually mid 2022, sorry. And then uh, late 2021, we had the 850. So I'm definitely curious to see, you know, how it's gonna stack up compared to the rest. That's pretty much the introduction video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment down below. And like I said, just be ready for this build. Uh, I got pretty much a month and a half time frame. Should be done in a month. That's at least the hopes. Now that's gonna be kind of like the part one, uh, mostly getting all of the performance mods out of the way. And then we'll be moving on to all of the accessory mods afterwards which that is gonna come, like I said, after Mud Bash because those parts are not really necessary. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.